All right, y'all, it is time to go thrift shopping. When you first enter this thrift store, of course, the first thing you see is their boutique. The boutique is filled with items that they think are expensive. It's mostly filled with items that come from China cabinets, your grandma's attic, her basement, her garage. It's mostly overpriced stuff, but sometimes you can find some really good deals. Mostly, you're going to find teacups, glasses, more teacups, trinkets, teapots. My favorite china is by Fenton. Their Silver Crest Edition is to die for. It is so beautiful and so elegant, and I use it for my tea parties and different girly events. Every boutique has its jewelry selection. You can find some really interesting items from brooches, earrings, necklaces, and sometimes you'll get lucky and find some silver and some gold that they've overlooked. One of my least favorite sections is the shoe section. Not because they don't have cute items, but because I have big feet. Yeah, sadly, I'm a size 12 in women, so they never have my size. But, hmm, what's this? Kind of cute. Kind of reminds me of Cinderella with spice. This thrift store always has a great selection of purses and you can find a lot of them are real leather. And you know, of course, when you come in the thrift store, it's gonna be some knockoffs. Lord, they got an R&B soul section. Tevin Campbell and Johnny Gill. Their sewing section is filled with vintage patterns. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to sew our clothes. I wish I would have kept some of her patterns. They'd probably be worth something. Their craft section has a lot of great items and deals from paint that you can find for very cheap, paint brushes, glitter, stamps, and different crafts. But you have to be real careful because some of this stuff comes from the Dollar Tree. And instead of paying $125, you could be paying three and four dollars. Like this paint right here. You got it all inside of you. 
Now, here's a great find. It's a roll of iridescent glitter fabric. And it's not expensive at all. Well, one thing you have to do is pull this part back and see how much is on the roll. Because you don't want to get home and find out it's only a little piece of fabric. Okay, we can deal with that. Here's a great find. It's some confetti and it's black. Now I have these clear balloons that I use for my balloon garlands. And with this confetti, I can put it inside the balloons and then it will be black confetti balloons. I love digging through the ribbon bags because they have an abundance of colors and designs. Some are based on holidays. They have greens, they have pinks, they have purples. And I use them to put them on my treats as well as my candy apples. And I use it to craft. And just look at all the different ribbon that they have and so much. I have a feeling that there are some crafting people in my area and they just buy, buy, buy and donate, donate, donate. <laughs> Thanks y'all. More for me. Look what I stumbled upon, a jewelry box. And I open it up and it's just beautiful. And it has blue velvet inside. This is a treasure and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I sell these jokers on eBay and every time I list them for $120, people actually buy them. And I have learned, look for the velvet. If the velvet is in good standing, grab it. I know what y'all thinking. Janelle, run, don't walk. This is creepy, but it's actually not. It's kind of cute and it's adorable. And one thing I have found is that when I find something to be cute and adorable, somebody else thinks it's cute and adorable. And guess what? When somebody else thinks it's cute and adorable, there's a price tag for it. And people are willing to pay on eBay. I saw these dolls and I said, oh my God, I'm going to have nightmares. I had to close my eyes and walk real fast.
I've been kicking myself because I should have grabbed the Egyptian Pharaoh because guess what? I now have an Egyptian themed event coming up and I don't have anything Egyptian. Lesson learned. I love purchasing little trinkets to put on my dessert and candy tables. They're great for Barbie theme parties, as well as Bratz parties and tea parties and Alice in Wonderland parties. And it just looks so adorable on my tables. This is a cute lantern and it's pink. I like to put these on my tables for decoration. If I can get it open, I can show you what it looks like inside. You see a baseball lamp. I see an opportunity to turn a lamp into a cake stand. This section of bag toys have hidden treasures. Don't overlook it because there is vintage toys in some of these bags that sell for a high amount.
our shopping spree is done. Don't forget to subscribe.